Hi there everyone, Mr. Orn back again and today we're going to have a little look and a little think about some spellings. Now, we're having a think about some able or ible endings to words and now these able and ible help us to create adjectives. So we begin with a noun and we can create an adjective. So, there's a little rule that we can use to decide if it's an able or an ible spelling. And I've written the rule on here. So if it's an able, the root word will always remain complete if we take the able off or if we add it on. We don't have to do anything to that root word. So for example, if we understand something, it is understand able. We are able to understand it. That's what that able ending means. So it's understandable. If we enjoy something, it is enjoyable. And if there's something that gives us comfort, it obviously is comfortable. It is able to make us feel comfort. So we're able to do something or we can do something or it is it will do something. So that's our able ending. So if you're ever sitting and you're thinking, oh, I need that spelling for that able, that able ending word. Is it an able or an able? If you think to yourself, right, I don't need to change the root word in my spelling, then you know it's an able spelling. Now, Ible is slightly different. If we need the Ible ending, then we do have to change our root word ever so slightly. We must drop the final E of a root word. Usually Ible is used for a word which ends in E. There are less words with Ible than Able. There are about 800 words in the English language that end with Able, and there's only about 200. So Able is more common, but occasionally we do need Ible. And here's some examples here. So I've got the word response. Now if response, to become an adjective, the adjective of response is responsible. If someone is responsible, then they are sensible and they are the person whose job it is to do something, perhaps. So as I said here, we must drop the final E of the root word. So responsible, we don't just plonk ible on the end. We have to remove that final E, like so, and then we can add our ible ending. So now we have responsible. So have a look, sensible. How would I, what would I do here to make the word sensible from my root word sense? Yep, I get rid of the E again to get the word sensible. And then collapse. So the adjective would be collapsible. So if something's collapsible, it might be a tent that can be folded away quickly or collapsible mast on a boat. Something that can be folded away really quickly is sometimes called collapsible. It can collapse back down into a packet. So collapse becomes collapsible. What do I need to do? That's it. Remove the E and add my Ible ending. So there we go. Just a quick recap of those two rules. If it's an able ending word, then you leave the root word as it is. You don't make any changes and you simply add able to the end. You are able to do something. And then if it's an ible ending, you must lose the final E. So it's always those words that end with an E and add ible to the end. So just a little thinking activity to go away. Go away and think about, see if you can come up with Two more words for able. So what words could have the able suffix at the end there to create our adjective? And see if you can come up with one more able word. So there's a little thinking task to go away. And I'll be back again soon with some more videos for us to have a go at. Okay, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.